And you are? Susan Griffin. Tell me about your piece here. What are some of the design considerations that you have? Well, the raven that I did, um, the eye is always the most important part when I do something that I love, an animal that I love. So I always start with the eye. And then the blue feathers in the front were, I felt, a great detail to add to my painting. And of course I started with the background first, so it was that great orange background contrasting color against the blue. Is there a certain distance you expect people to see it from? A uh, close up. Close up? Yeah. So, so How do you work? Do you work from a photo? Or? Sometimes I work from photos. I usually take all the photos myself and um, then go from there, play around with them. I like doing things close up. Um, uh, do you do you put it aside and get back to it sometimes, or do you normally finish it in one sitting? No, it usually takes quite a few sittings. Um, I usually take the photographs myself, and then I, I take photographs every day when I go for walks with my dog. And this one a friend shared with me, and I just fell in love with it. And I love the, the feathers, I love the animal in itself. So um, once I start sketching, then I, like I said, I do the eye first, and then I... What do you, how do you sketch? With charcoal or pencil? Uh, charcoal, because it's a pastel. So I'll sketch with charcoal or an ebony pencil. And, um, and then I'll start working on the eye, you know, once I have the composition down, if there's a lot of negative space and positive space, and feel like I'm comfortable that it's going to be something that I would love. And... Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> and then, then I start with the eye, and then I just go from there, and then it's just pretty quick. But those feathers in the front on his chest took me an awful long time to do, I must admit. It usually doesn't go as slowly as it did, but I was trying to get a lot of that detail. For those that don't know, what's the deal with negative and positive space? Well, I, uh, to me, it, it makes a <laughs> painting, and it r reminds me of a Japanese print. What is negative and positive? Well, this would be negative space, and the, the, um, the yellow, the orange, the background, and then the positive space would be the crow, the raven. Um, and are there other design considerations, like lighting, uh, contrast, that type of thing? Um, I found I felt like it was important to illuminate underneath his chin to bring you into it and then also my dearest friend Bert Collins up in Ojai she always has taught me to add in the foreground have it dark so you go into the painting your eye goes into the painting it draws you into it is there a sequence of events is it first the eye and then what well first the background I mean, sequence of events when the viewer looks at it. Oh, I think the, the, yeah, I think that because of the contrasting in colors, probably a person that would walk in would see the light on the background first. Yeah, yeah, and then walk up to it and then look at the eye. It seems to me that everybody that... In the eye, I can't see. Is there a reflection in Yes. It's too high up for to see. Yes, it is. And the, the, that AR glass is being a little tricky. So, with the light. Do you ever uh, put it aside and get back to it later, or how does that work? Yes, I'm working on a piece right now that's been sitting looking at me <laughs> for a while, and I finally stuck it on the table, so it's like, okay, get to work. So, um, you know, it's tricky with the weather around here and all this, the events that have been going on the last year. Sometimes things sit for a while between the fire and the flooding and now the heat wave and so how do you work do you wait till you're inspired or do you have a certain timetable or how does it work no it's all inspiration and I'm usually inspired all the time um, but you know life sort of deals you a few things that kind of you know steps you step back you garden or decide to paint the house 
But you need that inspiration to get going. You do need the inspiration. Some artists just do nine to five and they're working no matter what. Yeah. But others just have to be inspired to get going. Yeah, no, I've, I've taken quite a few steps back after working at the Santa Barbara Museum of Art for 15 years and just, you know, it's like nine to five and, oh my God, it was just so tricky. So now this is my time, so I just do it when I am inspired. But like I said, when I walk every day, I take pictures, so I'm, o I'm always inspired. It's just a matter of fact of sitting down. Someone asked me to do a piece about a month ago and I sold it, and then it was like, yay, I'll do another one. Oh, now I'm gonna do another one. So that was kind of fun. Um, so I was gonna ask something, but I can't remember it at the moment. But <laughs> I was gonna say something like, um, do you, what, 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 do you have commercial considerations, or do you paint for yourself? No, I paint for myself, and Arturo, bless that man, he hangs my artwork, and um, I otherwise it would, I'll sit at my house and collect dust. <laughs> I remember what I was going to ask. You said it kind of depends upon what's going in, on in your life. Can I yes. ask you what's going on in your life other than painting? Well, I live in Ojai. I do not work anymore um, for various reasons. And so I just live a pretty quiet life. I have about a half an acre and I have critters, chickens, dogs. Um, my German Shepherd just passed away, so that sort of pulled me back from painting. You know, it was 14 years old. Um, I've loved birds, um, so I have a nice little sweet spot, and it's just kind of a great place to sit and hang out. So, and I'm, you know, I'm just trying to enjoy every minute that I have left. So, this is a very nice piece. Is there anything about it that you're critical of that you could have done better, or, or are there any things in general that you're not as good at as other things? I love this piece. Um, to me, I, I feel like I, it's through some of my best work. Um, I struggle with landscapes. And then there's so many great landscape artists. It's just, let's just leave that to them because they're so good. But um, yeah, and, you know, the light that shines in that landscape over there, Arturo's piece, every time I see his work, I'm just mesmerized. So it makes me want to, you know, maybe try that. But I've, I've always been very good at drawing and I always can make things look like a photograph and then it took a really long time to learn color and when I worked for the Santa Barbara Mu Museum of Art teaching children I really learned from them about color because they were just so free about everything so it made me kind of loosen up is there a message or tone or concept you'd like people to get from this work I feel like there's a, a spiritual totem aspect of it Um, like the up in Washington or Alaska, where the raven is um, the teacher. So I feel like there's some message that a raven brings. What are your art influences? Oh, when I was a kid. You know, Picasso, Henry Moore, I love doing sculptures, um, oh, Rembrandt, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, um, all the great masters. Um, and then when I started working for the museum, my job was to teach children, but I would have to pick eight pieces from the exhibit research the artists, learn their style, and then teach it in the schools. And boy, what a great job that was, because I just fell in love with so many different you know, German expressionists, things that I probably would have never even thought twice about. What are your influences other than art? Influences other than art? Cooking? Is cooking? Is that would be one? I'm a great cook. I used to work for Wolfgang Puck. So, um, oh, and, and sports, cycling, swimming, working out, the beach, beach is my, um, there's a great artist, oh, that was from San Francisco in 190, uh, around the earthquake time, and he, 
who's an Italian artist, and he, there was an exhibit at the Santa Barbara Museum of Art, and they asked him um, what his religion was, and he said California, and pretty much <laughs> the Cal Rincon Beach is my religion. It's my great love, and where I go and hide. What do you get from that? Oh, I just get this great. It's great to be alive. What a blessing. Um, anything else you'd like to do? Actually, one question I have is how much are you selling that painting for? I don't know. It was up to Arturo. 800. Okay, 800. Anything else you care to say about that? No, no, but, th no but thank you so much. Well, thank it was you. really lovely. And what's lovely. your contact info? Do you have a website or email? I do. It's SusanGriffinOhai.com. Yeah. And how do you spell that? Susan? Griffin, G R I F F I N. Susan, S U S A N. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot, Susan. That You're welcome. Thank you so much.